Riley, thanks. Right now, at least 90 people are recovering following a large fire in the Inglenook community. We want to get out to WVTM 13's Aaron Llewellyn live on the scene for us tonight. Aaron, what do we know so far? Yeah, Jarvis, what we know so far is that there were two disabled adults who were trapped inside the house behind me. Now, they were taken to a local hospital where they were treated for smoke inhalation. And we also know that there were seven children that were inside when the fire broke out. Now, we want to get you to some more details so we can let you know what happened here tonight. Now, what we also know is that this happened around 620 this evening at the intersection of 38th Street and 38th Avenue North. That's in the Inglenook area. Fire officials say the call came in as a kitchen fire. When firefighters got here, the kids were already outside of the house. They were checked out here and are expected to be okay. But the adults, a man and a woman, were still inside. One adult is physically disabled and the other one has special needs. Now, firefighters were able to get them out of the house while trying to knock the fire down. Now, let's get you to the fire chief so that we can get you to some sound that lets you know how they got them out of this house. One of the victims was extricated from the window on the back side of the home. The other one was taken out the side looking up on the Delta side of the home, on the right side, out of the window. There was also a report, there's, uh, I don't have a number, but there's several dogs involved that we were not able to get out. Now, one adult who was trapped inside the house made the call to 911. And we also know that there were several dogs who died in this fire. Now, there is no official cause of the fire yet, but fire officials tell us that it is 100% smoke damage. But for right now, we're live in Birmingham, Aaron Llewellyn, WVTM 13.